find common ground by collaborating and working towards bringing better technology solutions, innovative products to the world. Show investors or customer to help marketing and commercializing their invention products in the market. gatherings are no longer encouraged, I'm happy to see that uh, MTE has gone virtual. This will allow more innovators to promote their innovation and share their ideas with the world. It has been nurturing the innovation culture among scientists, researchers, students and startup founders in order for them to transform their ideas into business ventures. There may come a day in the near future when we have overcome this crisis, but our innovations may be able to assist another country in their fight against the pandemic. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm happy to be invited by the organizers, Protem Group and UITM to say a few words of encouragement and congratulate all the participants of the Malaysia Technology Expo 2021 Sustainable Development Goals International Innovation Award SDGs is about making the world a better and safer place for all leaving no one behind so I hope you will always innovate with sustainable development as the end goal and contribute towards ending poverty protecting the planet and ensure that by 2030 all people enjoy peace and prosperity.
Wonder how fast intelligent machines run on 5G? At MMU, you'll find the answer. Wonder how creative content and online businesses are mastered? At MMU, you'll find the answer. Wonder how cybersecurity and law function? At MMU, you'll find the answer. Find out all these and many more at Multimedia University because MMU is you, leading the digital future. Visit mmu.edu.my. Ideas. They're more than just ideas. They are a testament to originality and resourcefulness. Malaysia has shown, time and again, how ideas transition into greatness. So, what if all ideas had a shot at standing tall among the best? Great ideas aren't always perfect. Disruptive ideas rock the status quo. Big ideas are often belittled. Creative ideas are often scorned. But no matter where ideas come from, whether labs, classrooms, or mountaintops, 
or even our struggles and motivations. These inspired visions deserve everything it takes to accelerate change with the new return on ideas. Because every masterpiece has to start somewhere and needs room to grow. So now is the time for the seeds of ideas to mature and strengthen and highlight the value of Malaysian ingenuity as we reach for new heights together as a nation and forge the return on ideas. To all fellow innovators and game changers, we are here for you. Ideas to impact. Maranti. Saya sangat kagum dengan kesungguhan inovator Dr. Syahidawati, seorang pensyarah yang boleh menginovasikan permainan yang berunsur kewangan patuh syariah. Memang ramai yang akan berminat dengan permainan ini. Okay, saya Dr. Syahidawati Puti Syahwan, okay, iaitu Ketua kepada Kumpulan Mu'amalat Interactive Game atau MIG. Okay, yang mana kami semua merupakan pencarah di Fakulti Ekonomi dan Mu'amalat di Universiti Syed Nisar Malaysia. Hasil daripada kajian lepas, kami dapati bahawa pengurusan keuangan di kalangan individu dan juga para pelajar okay, masih lemah. Kami melihat perlunya uh, alat pembelajaran bagi membantu mereka memahami konsep Mu'amalat dan akad-akad yang ada dalam Mu'amalat okay, dengan secara realistik. MIG merupakan inovasi pertama di dunia yang menawarkan okay, pembelajaran keuangan Islam memulai permainan. Okay, kami telah diberikan oleh Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala rezeki yang mana kami menerima uh, geran Yayasan Inovasi Malaysia iaitu geran prototype dan geran commercialization. Pada tahun 2016, kami berjaya menghasilkan satu lagi prototype baru untuk MIG yang mana ia khusus kepada komuniti ataupun masyarakat umum. Alhamdulillah, okay, MIG telah diterima oleh pihak industri dan pelbagai training atau latihan dalaman yang kami telah jalankan okay, menggunakan tool ini. Untuk produk MIG kami yang dua ini, kami telah menerima tiga award. Okay, satu award daripada Germany, IENA AINA Germany, Pencipta 2017 dan juga award khas untuk uh, Malaysian Technology Expo okay, pada tahun 2020. Jadi award-award ini sebenarnya menunjukkan bahawa MIG merupakan satu produk yang diterima secara akademik Okay, dan juga satu produk yang diterima dalam masyarakat. Idea daripada Puan Teng Yu Min memang cukup bernas. Bagaimana hanya dengan menginovasi penutup botol dapat memberi impak yang besar kepada komuniti dan alam sekitar. My name is Teng Yu Min and I'm the founder of Affinity Social Enterprise. I invented the Affinity Easy Water Filter Cap in 2016, which enabled the rural communities to filter their drinking water without the need of water pressure from their tap or electricity to run a pump. Our targets are the orang asli here and also the orang dalaman in Sabah and Sarawak. We also have deployed it to the third world countries such as Myanmar, Vietnam, uh, Cambodia, and also Nepal, Rohingya refugee camps in Bangladesh, the refugees in Syria and Yemen, and also the earthquake victims in Lombok, Indonesia. We managed to come up with the Affinity Easy Water Filter Cap, which fit into the normal Coke bottles or Pepsi bottles, which are able to create the pressure to filter the water by using a hand pump. Yayasan Inovasi Malaysia helped me a lot financially at the early stage. Under the Amagris program, we got the funds to pay for the mall to produce the cap. Yayasan Inovasi Malaysia also helped me to get connected to the various government agencies which offer the expertise that I needed. We have made a new mall for an improved design of the product. This new model was necessary due to the demand from many overseas inquiries which require them to fit to their type of plastic bottles. The design can also enable the sponsor to have their logo mounted onto the cap. This will be a good publicity for their company's branding and increase their willingness to sponsor them.
Manakala satu sistem, MedCard, sangat membantu saya sendiri apabila ingin berurusan membuat transaksi di klinik dan hospital. Ianya lebih mesra pengguna dan efisien. Assalamualaikum, saya Izwan. Saya adalah co-founder dan CEO of MedCard. MedCard adalah sistem otomatik pengguna benefit. Ia terdapat di aplikasi mobile dan juga di portal. We want to bring fairness into the ecosystem by bringing cost optimization, uh, transparency information, and also convenience to our user. MedCard received a grant from Yayasan Innovasi Malaysia in 2018. The grant was used to develop two key features in the system. The first one is the price checker algorithm. And secondly, uh, we put geolocation uh, into our system. So from only 50, uh, 20 clients and 50 clinics with the two features, key features that we have. So we managed to secure 140 clients. If comprises of all uh, panel clinics, hospital, pharmacies, we have uh, 1,200 uh, number of panels. So this huge growth helped us a lot when we receive the, the grant. So for founders, uh, what I can say is you have to be persistent. Uh, you have to work hard first and foremost. Um, keep trying, uh, don't give up. Believe in your product. You have to listen to the market, what they want. As an innovator to another innovator, my advice is you do not need to look too far for a solution. It could be there right in front of you if you look hard enough. Untuk semua innovators, kita dapat idea terus buat. Ada idea terus buat, jangan tunggu. Okay, bila kita tunggu, kita akan terlambat dan orang lain akan uh, ke depan. Jangan lupa lawati laman web Yayasan Inovasi Malaysia di www.yim.my untuk sebarang info mengenai inisiatif-inisiatif YIM dari masa ke semasa. Nantikan juga kesinambungan bagi pembangunan laman web YIM Fasa 2.0 di mana kami akan memberikan servis yang terbaik menggunakan user interface yang lebih vibrant dan mempunyai unsur-unsur gamification. -unsur Sentiasa mengikuti media sosial GIM iaitu Facebook, Instagram, Twitter dan YouTube Yayasan Inovasi Malaysia di mana GIM akan menghebahkan aktiviti dan program terkini serta hebahan sekiranya geran pembangunan inovasi dibuka. Dan yang paling penting, teruskan berinovasi.
Yang berhormat Datuk Muhammad Razi Muhammad Jidin, Senior Education Minister Malaysia. Yang berhormat Datuk Sri Dr. Nuraini Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia. Yang berhormat Datuk Sri Dr. Adham bin Baba, Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation Malaysia. Professor Engineer Dr. Ghazali bin Omar, Acting Vice Chancellor of University Technical Malaysia Malacca, UTEM, and Chair of the IIA Committee. Technologist Ajmain bin Kasim, Chief Executive Officer of Sirim Tech Ventures Sindiran Berhad and Deputy Chair for Industry Sector IIA Committee. Professor Madia Dr. Muhammad Herman bin Jamaluddin, Director at Center for Commercialization of University Technical Malaysia Malacca, UTEM, Deputy Chair for Public University Sector IIA Committee. Professor Engineer Dr. Harul Azhar Abdul Rashid, Vice President of Research and Innovation, Multimedia University and Deputy Chair for Private University Sector, IIA Committee. Mr. Ronald Chu, Managing Director of the ProTem Group. Our esteemed jurors, award sponsors, members of the media and all participants. Good afternoon and welcome to the awards results announcement of MTE 2022 International Innovation Awards. You've worked very hard for this moment, and I would like to wish all our IIA participants success. You must be looking forward to today's results announcement, and I wish you good luck and success. Let me start by inviting Professor Engineer Dr. Ghazali bin Omar, Acting Vice Chancellor of University Technical Malaysia Malacca, UTEM, and Chair of the IIA Committee, to welcome everyone. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Alhamdulillah. Praise to be the Almighty for giving us this opportunity to be here at the opening ceremony of the Malaysia Technology Expo, MTE 2022 Virtual Edition, International Innovation Awards, IIA. This is the second year MTE visual event which has taken the mode of a new normal in the light of the ongoing scenario of the COVID-19 pandemic as we continue to strictly observe relevant standard operating procedures, travel is not encouraged and physical distancing is still prime. Consequently, the safety of our participants and attendees will continue to be our top priority. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, on behalf of UTEM and the organizing committee, I would like to thank all of the participants for your fervent support for the MTE 2022 virtual edition. I hope that this five days event will provide considerable opportunities for participants from various backgrounds to not only share their innovations and invention, but also to seize the opportunity to interact, discuss and exchange ideas on the latest techniques and technologies that will eventually result in mutual benefits. Ladies and gentlemen, I am indeed glad to be informed that this annual event has succeeded in attracting more than 500 innovative products and participants from numerous local and international education institute agencies as well as industrial participants. My sincere thanks to all participants for your unstinting trust and support towards the IIA MTE 2022 virtual event. Although this year's event continues in the virtual mode, I believe this approach provides even more opportunities to researchers and from all around the world to participate at the convenience of their own location worldwide. This is the privilege of technology. We are connected regardless of physical and geographical boundaries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my belief that MTE 2022 
virtual edition will be the catalyst in encouraging innovators and inventors to share and disseminate innovativeness and sustainability in their research. Through this platform, I hope more new ideas and innovation within the realm of sustainable development will emerge. Innovation is not just about making new and better products. It encompasses all aspects of ideas. Besides products, innovation can be clearly manifested in processes, systems, services, methods, and models. MTE 2022 has encapsulated this concept by successfully championing innovative and scientific progression for the past 21 years. I also encourage all participants to have an open and constructive dialogue and would like to reiterate that we need to act now, we need to act strong and we need to act together to make sure that our prototypes will see the light of the day in commercialization as well as contributing to the betterment of the industries and society. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I would like to take this opportunity to thank and congratulate all the relevant parties who have worked hard in preparing and executing the work plans in ensuring the smooth running of this virtual event, especially in the panel of judges, ProTem and Sirim Tech Venture for their relentless commitment. With the engagement and support from all, I'm fully confident that the IIA MTE 2022 Virtual Edition will culminate into yet another triumphant year. I take this opportunity to wish you the best of luck. May this be an insightful and highly immersive experience for all. Thank you and good luck to all. Stay safe and take care. Thank you, Professor Engineer Dr. Ghazali bin Omar for addressing us. And we would also like to thank you for your invaluable contribution to the IIA committee, ensuring that IIA is evaluated to the highest standards. Next, we will hear from the awards director, Professor Madia Dr. Muhammad Zainal Abidin bin Abdul Aziz from UTEM. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very, okay, a very good day to everyone. So first of all, uh, we would like to welcome and congratulate to every participant and agency of the institute that participate for this year MTE 2022. So <clears throat> this year we received uh, submissions around 300 over and uh, from that numbers around 14.3% is from the international participants, whereas 9.2% uh, is from the agencies uh, or industry. So this year, uh, we get the involvements from the uh, around 50 over jury, which is 10% uh, is from the international jury. And then uh, around 47 is from the industry and uh, around 7% is from the uh, agency. Uh, the rest is coming from the local university. So this year, jury have uh, been evaluated by using two rubrics, which is one for the intangible product or submissions, and the second one based on the idea or intangible uh, submissions. So based on the uh, comment given by the jury, so most of the jury says that uh, most of the participants' uh, products or exhibitions, exhibitors have shown, has come out with a good quality of the project or products. Uh, however, there's some uh, other rooms that can be improved, such as the pitching uh, style or presentation ways, and then the commercialization uh, processes, and then uh, the evidence of the uh, presented product. So this all can be improved uh, further uh, for next year, next coming years participations. So based on our uh, evaluations, the judge evaluations, uh, there will be around 41% uh, of the goal uh, 
been evaluated, uh, been uh, will be awarded, and then forty five percent of the silver and the rest forty percent of the bronze. So for uh, goals for those who has uh, won the gold medal, we congratulate to you. Uh, you have done a good job. And but for the silver medalist and uh, bronze medalist, please don't uh, give up. Please do come again next year with the uh, improvements. So we believe you have done a good job, but there are not. Maybe this luck is not for you this year, so probably next year will be a, a better chance or better luck for you. So we will come again uh, to all of you for next year and see you again next year. So thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Zainal, and our appreciation goes out to you for your dedication, time, and efforts that you have given to IIA. We will now announce the results of the gold winners, followed later by results of the Outstanding Awards winners and Special Awards winners. So do stay with us. I'll now pass the stage over for the announcement of the gold winners. Gold Award winners. Fermented Cherry Tenganu Beverage, Positive Evidence in the Management of Hypercholesterolemia by Malaysian Agriculture Research and Development Institute, MARTI. High Performance Glam Tree Plantations by Glamaka Sendiran Berhad. System and Method of Detection and Recognition of Plant Pathogens in Greenhouse Cultivation Conditions by Lucaswick Research Network, Institute of Aviation. Plasmonic FBG Based Honey Quality Tester by University Science Islam Malaysia, USIM. PDM3 Nature Inspired Gem Busters by Forest Research. Institute Malaysia, FRIM. Pragnomic Sustainable Ruminant Formula for the Future by University of Malaysia, Kelantan, UMK. Grey Oyster Mushroom Strains, Seri Jalira 1 and 2, New Hope for the Malaysian Mushroom Industry by Malaysian Agriculture Research and Development Institute, MARTI. Putra ProCut and Putra FastNap Innovative Apparatus for Marketing Technique by University Putra Malaysia. IoT-based system for micro-organic farming by University Malaysia Sarawak, Unimas. AeroG Passion Hill Hydrogel Dressing by RMC UITM. Green Stay Fresh Flum Packaging for Mango Post Harvest Application by University of Malaysia Perlis. Agriculture Spraying Robot by University of Malaysia Perlis. IVF Kit for Fish Spawning by College Kemahiran Tinggi Mara, KKTM Langgong. Soil and Crop Enhancers by University of Putra Malaysia. BioS Nano Emulsion Serum with Olid by University Putra Malaysia, UPM. Preditech and IoT enable pest management device for invasive apple snails at Paddy Fields by University Technology Petronas. Children Sexual Abuse Personal Body Safety Education Through Illustrated Learning Kit Board Game by College of Creative Arts, University Technology Mara, Shah Alam. Three-dimensional printed stingless beehive box with topology optimization by University of Malaysia Perlis. Flux, a modular 3D printed furniture joinery system through an ego aesthetic design approach by University of Malaysia Kelantan. The structure improvement of the seal by China University of Technology. Sliding coupling seat structure for electric bikes by Kaoyuan University. Optimizing the quality of gas sales with the innovation of multipods bubble gas spreading system and buckets as H2S removal in Pertamina EP Asset 3 Tambon Field by Pertamina Subholding Upstream. Increasing production volume using the eSamil method in the offshore field of PT Pertamina Hulu Mahakam by Pertamina Subholding Upstream. Nizan Design, an innovative mass produced handmade ceramic tableware by University Technology Mara. 
Smart Seat Stand Exoskeleton by University Technical Malaysia Melaka. To reduce kernel losses from 0.66% to 0.60% at Suar Betung Oil Mill, Negeri Sembilan, Malaysia by Saim Dabi Plantation Berhad. Micro Optic 2000, a compact 2 micrometer fiber laser by University Malaya. Handheld high power fiber laser welding system by University Malaya. Automatic data acquisition system for fingerprinting based indoor positioning by Multimedia University. A modular streetwear fashion from upcycled materials by College of Creative Arts, University Technology Mara, Shah Alam. Bio Hot Sense by Raja Mangala University of Technology, Tanya Buri. Application of multifunctional textile yarns made from plastic bottles and marine mineralized oyster shell materials by Kao Yuan University. Manufacture of self-cleaning titanium dioxide cerium nanocoatings by Bamdad Pasi Elementary School, Tehran, Iran. High Q microwave resonator sensor for material characterization by University Technical Malaysia Melaka. Military smart fabrics by Science and Technology Research Institute for Defense, Stripe. Nano catalyst for pollutants degradation by University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Fast powder filling machine using twin hopper by University Malaysia Kelantan. Smart permeability, smart permeability modifier by University Technology Petronas. Malaysia reference material tungsten Myram W by Sirim Berhad. Infinite Purity, a breakthrough in nanotechnology that will positively affect the living standards of mankind by Titanium World Technology Sendirian Berhad. The innovation of carbon-based nanomaterials as promising green solvent for the analysis of drugs, pesticides, and heavy metals contaminants by Faculty of Applied Sciences. Rosel sits as natural coagulant in wastewater treatment by Taylor's University. Regenerating mineral waste for eco green paint by Mineral Research Center, Department of Mineral and Geoscience, Malaysia. Forestry stress predictor mechanism for flood and fire prevention by Quest International University. Vapor deposition of multifunctional porous water purification product by National Taiwan University. Efficiency of storage tanks hydro test using organic waste Q by as a substitute for chemical corrosion inhibitors in the fuel terminal MO5 by Pertamina Subholding CNT. Achieve zero import of aviation fuel to increase Indonesia's energy resilience through GHT, unit revitalization and kerosene utilization at RU6 Sila Cap by Pertamina Subholding RNP. Synthesis of Metal Organic Framework CNT Nanocomposite as an electron material for high performance at lithium ion batteries by Atarot M High School, Tehran, Iran. Synthesize of diamondoids through recrystallization of lamina carbon obtained by renewable sources by Solale High School, Karash, Iran. Artinimo leak detection in underground pipelines by Malaysian Nuclear Agency. Solar-based Melaka River Cruise by Misi Technical Malaysia Melaka. Towards an affordable and clean energy design and implementation of a wind-solar hybrid power generation system for highway streetlights by Management and Science University. Repurposed electric vehicle batteries 
for Standalone Street Lights by Multimedia University. Augmented power conversion efficiency of hybrid solar cells by self-organized maneuvering of Zhao nanowires as photoanode by a novel microwave-assisted sonication approach by University Technology Mara. Application of recycled plastic waste as an alternative material for aggregate in the construction of pavement in the University Malaya campus by University Malaya. Carbon capture by eggshell waste by University Malaysia Perlis. Biotex, a bioadhesive with cross linked rice starch natural rubber latex NRL for plywood manufacturing by University Malaysia Pahang. Corrosion resistant nanofluids by DRB Highcom, University of Automotive Malaysia. Economical floating platform system for phytoremediation and terrestrial plant cultivation by Mineral Research Center Department of Mineral and Geoscience Malaysia. Simple and portable asphate, organophosphate, insecticide, and simulation of nerve agent detection system by University Pertahanan National Malaysia. Hybrid energy harvester for wireless sensor node by University Tenaga National. Integrated Responsive Energy Management System, IREMS, by University Kuala Lumpur. Safe, inexpensive, and sustainable energy storage technology of sodium ion batteries, National Sobat, by University Pertahanan National Malaysia. Photohybrid SBR for removal of toxic contaminant in wastewater by Quest International University. Social innovation by University Malaysia Sarawak. Seri Ad. Cross-ethnic relationship instrument, ethnic tolerance online test by University Tun Hussein On, Malaysia. Smart Keyless Car Immobilizer Monitoring System Automotive Industry in Malaysia by University Technology Mara, UITM, Chawangan Melaka. Hygienic Portable Female Urinal Device, HPFUD, by University Technical Malaysia, Melaka. Optimization Tools of Refresh Rate towards Dust Exposure of PA12 SLS Handling Process, OP Refresh, University Technical Malaysia, Melaka. MSU Assessment for Children with Special Needs by Management and Science University, MSU. Automated Tracer of Palm Oil Supply Chain System by University Malaysia, Pahang. Autism Made Easy by University Technology, Petronas. A Deep Learning Method for Detecting Inappropriate Contents in Visual Media by Multimedia University. Built-in self-scaling method for road roughness classification by Multimedia University. Hempcrete tie, high strength and fast forming hempcrete from Thai hem by Raja Mangala University of Technology, Tanyaburi. Nano Titan, Nano TiO2 modified asphalt binder by University Malaysia, Pahang. Live streaming set trolley case by Chile University of Technology. Automated control barrier for in out customer counter with limitation and display via seven segments and blink app using ESP32 for mini market by Mara Japan Industrial Institute. AI smart learning by University Technical Malaysia Melaka. ISOBOT, modular 3D printed robotic platform for STEM education by Inisi Tun Hussein On, Malaysia. I-Status Hadis, Word Adin by Inisi Science Islam, Malaysia. Gen X Kit by Research Management Center, University Technology Mara. Left and Right Brain Balancing Application with EEG Biofeedback System by Multimedia University. 
Saringan Pengesanan Awal Disleksia by Universiti Pendidikan Sultan Idris. Engineering Education 4.0 Advanced Technology Assisted Analysis Software for Designing Gears by Universiti Tenaga Nasional. Augmented Reality for Centrifugal Gas Pump ARCP by Universiti Teknologi Petronas. Gyro Vought Energy Harvester by Taylor's University Sindran Berhad. Diabetic Retinopathy Consultation System DRCS by University Technical Malaysia Melaka. A Wireless Monitoring System for Urine Output and Fluid Administration by Chime Medical Center. Oligofquidin and Active Substance for Preventing Radiation Induced Pneumonitis and Lung Fibrosis During Radiotherapy, RT, by HiQ Marine Biotech International Limited. A Lactobacillus Rhamnosus GKLC1, a composition and its use for improving alcoholic injury in liver, stomach, and intestine, by Grape King Bio. Insulation and Decompression Infant Air Cushion Nest by Chime Medical Center. Counter Aid Needle Collecting Box by Chime Medical Center. Integrated 3D Print Vascular Simulator with Wall Pressure Detector and Real Time Infrared Imaging System by Chime Medical Center. The first patented natural plant sunscreen, Complex Essential Oil, by Hong Kong University. Preparation of super paramagnetic nanocomposite of mica Fe304 as a contrast agent in MRI with precipitation method in present of urea and SLS by Research Center Karaj Mualem, Karaj Iran, Fazanegan, Three High School, Karaj Iran. New Generation Systems Based on Bio-Gold Production Reactors by Milaniex Company, Iran. Assessing Upper Limb Performance Using Rehabilitation and Assessment Device, Rehat by Universiti Tun Hussein on Malaysia. My Nutri Kidney Apps, a personalized nutrition tool to empower dietary self-management for chronic kidney disease patients by Universiti Putra Malaysia. Famapsidian Antibiotic Loaded Dressing for Chronic Diabetic Wound by Universiti Kuala Lumpur. Most Hub, Bipartite Network Based Dengue Hotspot Detector by University Malaysia Sarawak. Diabetic Passion Monitoring System with Wireless Protocol and Online Database by University of Technology Sarawak. Bioglam, Premium Glam Tree Oil by Bioglam Glamaka Sendrian Berhad. Urinary Sodium Test Strip by UCSI University. Pine Baby, natural liquid cleanser formulated using bromelain from pineapple byproducts by University Malaysia Pahang. Archimedean Nano MIP Sensor, a pre-operative assessment tool for inherited and acquired coagulopathy diagnosis by University Malaysia Perlis. Corona Self-Sanitized Toilet System by College Kemahiran Tinggi Mara KKTM Ledang. Easy Lateral Radiographic Holder by College Kemahiran Tinggi Mara KKTM Ledang. A Multiplex PCR Rapid Detection Kit for Hemorrhagic Bacteria from Stool Samples by University Technology Mara UITM. Nevgro at for Mighty Mitochondria by University Malaya. Automated Methadone Dispenser by University Malaya. 
hyaluronic acid hydrogel to modulate inflammatory pain for intervertebral disc regeneration by UC Kebangsaan Malaysia. High code mixed electro discharge machining, simultaneous machining and hybrid coating of biomedical implants by University Technology Petronas. Compact minder line telemetry antenna CML TA with interference reduction towards pacemaker application by Quest International University. Intelligent Adaptive Learning Desk Device by Chihli University of Technology. Go Cooking by Chihli University of Technology. Contactless Human Psychological Signal Sensing Device by Jinwen University of Science and Technology. Intelligent Solutions for Electricity Theft, ISAT by University Tenaga National. Malaysian banknotes reader featuring counterfeit detection for RM1 and RM5 using front backlight mechanism and image processing techniques by Multimedia University. An auto power cut off and remote restoration system by University of Technology Sarawak. An auto power cut off and remote restoration system by University of Technology Sarawak. Form recognition and optical character recognition for claims automation by Multimedia University. Rapid assessment of water quality in marine and freshwater aquaculture by University of Malaysia Perlis. Digitalizing operations and maintenance via artificial intelligence domain by University of Technology Petronas. Ultra Long Range Acoustic Technology ULRAT by University of Technology Petronas. Valve Stick by University of Technology Petronas. SN Miracle Skin Wrinkles Firming Essence by Xiangshen Global Co Limited. Champion Bio Hirami Nano Polyphenol by Jan Mao. Biotech Company Limited. Congratulations to all the Gold Award winners. Next will be the announcement of winners of the Most Outstanding Innovation Awards. Outstanding Innovation Awards winner. Soil and Crop Enhancers by University Putra Malaysia. Three-dimensional printed stingless beehive box with topology optimization by University of Malaysia Perlis. Handheld high-power fiber laser welding system by University of Malaya. Malaysia reference material tungsten MyRam W by Sirim Berhad. Infinite purity, a breakthrough in nanotechnology that will positively affect the living standards of mankind by tit Titanium World Technology Sindran Berhad. Trace MS designed a smart infrastructure COVID-19 monitoring, communication and technology operational system by Management and Science University. Hygienic Portable Female Urinal Device HPFUD by University Technical Malaysia Melaka. A deep learning method for detecting inappropriate contents in visual media by Multimedia University. Built-in self-scaling method for road roughness classification by Multimedia University. Hempcrete tie, high strength and fast forming hempcrete from Thai hem by Raja Mangala University of Technology, Tanyaburi. Live streaming set trolley case by Chihli University of Technology. Automated control barrier for in-out customer counter with limitation and display via seven segments and Blink app using ESP32 for mini market by Mara Japan Industrial 
Institute. Augmented Reality for Centrifugal Gas Pump, ARCP, by University Technology Petronas. Gyro VAWT Energy Harvester by Taylor's University Sendrian Berhad. Preparation of Super Paramagnetic Nano Composite of Mika FE304 as a contrast agent in MRI with co precipitation method in present of urea and SLS by Research Center Karaj Mualam, Karaj Iran, Pasanagan 3 High School, Karaj Iran. Contactless Human Psychological Signal Sensing Device by Jinwen University of Science and Technology. Congratulations to all the Most Outstanding Innovation Award winners. We will now announce the winners of the special awards conferred by prestigious local and international organizations and institutions. Indonesian Invention and Innovation Promotion Association, INOPA Special Award goes to System and Method of Detection and Recognition of Plant Pathogens in Greenhouse Cultivation Conditions by Lukasowicz Research Network, Institute of Aviation. Creso Gleva Special Award goes to Plasmonic FBG-based Honey Quality Tester by University Science Islam Malaysia, USIM. Toronto International Society of Innovation and Advanced Skills Special Award goes to Pragnamics Sustainable Ruminant Formula for the Future by University of Malaysia, Kelantan, UMK. Indonesian Invention and Innovation Promotion Association, INOPA Special Award goes to Mizan Design and Innovative Mass-Produced Handmade Ceramic Tableware by University Technology Mara. Association of British Inventors and Innovators Special Award goes to Nano Catalyst for Pollutants Degradation by University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Japan Intellectual Property Association, JIPA Special Award goes to RT Nimo Leak Detection in Underground Pipelines by Malaysian Nuclear Agency. Chinese Innovation and Invention Society Special Award goes to Efficiency of Storage Tanks Hydro Test Using Organic Waste Q by as a Substitute for Chemical Corrosion Inhibitors in the Fuel Terminal MO5 by Pertamina Subholding CNT. Chinese Innovation and Invention Society Taiwan Special Award goes to Forest Tree Stress Predictor Mechanism for Flood and Fire Prevention by Quest International University. Euro Business Holler Pollen Special Award goes to Automated Tracer of Palm Oil Supply Chain System by University Malaysia Pahang. Euro Business Holler Pollen Special Award goes to Social Innovation by University Malaysia Sarawak. Japan Intellectual Property Association, JIPA Special Award goes to Saringan Pengesanan Awal Dyslexia by University Pendidikan Sultan Idris. International Federation of Inventors Association Special Award goes to ISOBOT Modular 3D Printed Robotic Platform for STEM Education by University Tunusian On Malaysia. The International Alliance of Innovation and Invention Associations Special Award goes to Easy Lateral Radiographic Holder by College Kemaran Tinggi Mara KKTM Ledang. National Research Council of Thailand Special Award goes to Femaxdine Antibiotic Loaded Dressing for Chronic Diabetic Wound by University Kuala Lumpur. Japan Intellectual Property Association JIPA Special Award goes to Intelligent Solutions for Electricity Theft ISEP by University Tenaga National. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure now to welcome Yamba Hormat Datusri Dr. Noraini Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia, to deliver her congratulatory speech. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and warm greetings. I am delighted to be here at the Malaysia Technology Expo 2022 and to commend all the outstanding innovations submitted this year. I can see that this event has drawn a strong contingent of both domestic and international talent, paving the way for future collaborations in research and development. MTE 2022 will be presented as a year-long awards program beginning in March with international innovations, public service innovations, ASEAN youth innovations, advanced healthcare innovations, and COVID-19 innovations during the mid-year, and concluding in October with the Sustainable Development Goals Innovations. Ladies and gentlemen, as the world looks to rebuild from the pandemic, we know that innovation is integral to overcome the common challenges that we face and to build a better future. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, Malaysia ranked 36 out of 132 economies and ranks in the third place within the upper middle income economies group in the Global Innovation Index 2021. I am pleased that Malaysia remains one of the most innovative economies, not only in Asia, but worldwide. The government's strategies to accelerate the adoption of technology and innovation as outlined in the 12th Malaysia Plan continues to drive the momentum of our efforts. Talent is critical to achieving Malaysia's goal of becoming a hub for innovation and a knowledge-driven economy. Malaysia's government is determined to develop and expand our talent pool. The Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation and the Ministry of Higher Education have been allocated Ringgit Malaysia 423 million to boost research and development activities. This includes Ringgit Malaysia 295 million for the utilization of public universities. We must lead and serve as talent stewards to identify critical talent, nurture individuals with such talents, and to ensure their long-term viability. The government also allocated Ringgit Malaysia 14.5 billion in October 2021 under the auspicious of Malaysia's 2022 budget to assist educational institutions and students. MOHI aims to improve the education system while producing more holistic and employable graduates through a five-year plan that includes four major strategies aimed at producing future-proof talent for the workforce. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate all award winners. Well done and keep up the good work. My gratitude also goes to the MTE Awards organizers, the ProTem Group. I am grateful as well to the awards partners, UTEM, MMU, Sirim Berhad, Sirim STV, Macri and NSA, as well as all the esteemed jurors for their contributions in realizing an innovative and flourishing future for Malaysia. I wish all of you the best in your future undertakings. With that, I thank you very much. Thank you, Yamba Hormat, Dr. Sri Dr. Narayani Ahmad, for your congratulatory speech and encouraging words, and our deep appreciation to MOHE for the continuous support that the Ministry has given to MTE all these years. 
Our awards committee co-chairs would now like to convey their congratulations to all participants. Let's hear it from Professor Madia Dr. Mohammad Herman bin Jamaluddin from UTEM, Deputy Chair for Public University Sector IIA Committee, Professor Engineer Dr. Harul Azhar Abdul Rashid from MMU, Deputy Chair for Private University Sector IIA Committee, and Technologist Ajmain bin Kasim from Sirim Tech Ventures Sindiram Brahad, Deputy Chair for Industry Sector IIA Committee. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yang berhormat Datuk Seri Dr. Noraini Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia. Yang berhormat Datuk Seri Dr. Adham Baba, Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation. Yang berhormat Datuk Seri Ahmad Faizal bin Datuk Azumu, Minister of Youth and Sports. Yang berbahagia Professor Engineer Dr. Ghazali Omar, Acting Vice Chancellor of University Technical Malaysia Melaka, Chair of International Innovation Awards 2022, Professor Engineer Dr. Hairul Azhar Abdul Rashid, Vice President, Research and Innovation, Multimedia University Malaysia, Deputy Chair for Private University, Technologist Ajmain Kasim, Chief Operating Officer, Sirim Tech Ventures, Sendirian Berhad, Deputy Chair for the Industry, Mr. Ronald Chu, Managing Director of Protem Group, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to all. It is a privilege to be here today at the 21st Malaysia Technology Expo to address the award results announcement for the International Innovation Awards 2022. I would like to congratulate the organizer of MTE and applaud their dedication and unwavering efforts to contribute to Malaysia's ecosystem of innovation, technology and research. Also, thank you to the awards committee for their fair and vigorous evaluations of over 320 entries, as well as for taking on the role of mentoring, guiding the participants throughout the award process. Your dedication allows us to see tangible results for our ecosystem. Lastly, congratulations to all the winners. It can take months, if not years, to turn an idea into a new product or service. It takes even longer for technological advance to be widely adopted, resulting in the creation of new jobs, increased economic productivity, and improve people's health and well-being. Today's progress is the result of previous innovations. Today's innovation, in turn, saw the seed for the future progress. Thank you all, and I wish you a very success. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good afternoon, uh, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, visitors, uh, audiences to this event today, participants, and especially award winners, like to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate all the winners to this year's MTE 2022. Uh, when we first got the uh, entries, I got really excited looking at all the different uh, innovations that are being uh, exhibited in MTE 2022. The judges did an excellent uh, job evaluating, assessing all the um, entries. Uh, and I'm sure uh, all the winners today will definitely uh, mark this as one of their major milestones uh, in their journey, taking their innovation out, uh, making an impact in society. So congratulations again. Uh, let this be uh, a good uh, stepping stone for all of you moving forward and all the best. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera. Good day to all of you. First and foremost, I would like to wish YB Datuk Sri Dr. Nur Aini Ahmad, Minister of Higher Education Malaysia, YB Datuk Sri Adham bin Baba, Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, MOSTI, YB Datuk Sri Ahmad 
Faizal bin Datuk Azumu, Minister of Youth and Sports, yang berbahagia Profesor IR Dr Ghazali bin Omar, Acting Vice Chancellor of University Technical Malaysia Melaka (UTM) and Chair of International Innovation Award IIA 2022. Also to Prof Madia Dr Muhammad Herman bin Jamaluddin, Director Centre for Commercialization, University Technical Malaysia Melaka, UTEM, and uh, IIA 2022 Deputy Chair for Public University. Also to Prof. IR Dr. Khairul Azhar Abdul Rashid, Vice President Research and Innovation Multimedia University Malaysia, and IIA 2022 Deputy Chair for Private University. And also goes to Prof. Madia, Dr. Muhammad Zainul Abidin bin Abdul Aziz, Deputy Dean, Research and Postgraduate Studies, University Technical Malaysia Malaka, UTEM, and also as a IIA 2022 Award Director. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Prof. Dr. Noraini Idris, President of National STEM Association Malaysia and Chair of Asian Youth Innovation Award, AYIA 2022. 22. Encik Hussein Muhammad Arif, President of Malaysian Association of Creativity and Innovation, or MACRI, and Chair of Public Service Innovation Award, PSIA 2022. Your Excellency, Ivan Velma Stazovic, Ambassador Extraordinary and Flinofatari of Croatia to Malaysia. Mr. Ronald Chu, Managing Director of Protem Group, and also to members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is an exciting event. As we can see, various entries came into MTE 2022 as being informed, uh, more than 500 entries were received and uh, 450 uh, were evaluated. And we actually uh, having more than 30 judges who participated to do all the evaluation professionally based on criteria that eventually determine the results. Congratulations to all entries and of course, without full particip participation, uh, not much MTE 2022 can be of such meaningful and impactful platform. By entries, all are achievers and it is normal in any competition, there are ways of classifying who we will be getting, uh, the gold, silver, bronze and or any special award provided in accordance to the rubric and also criteria. On behalf of Deputy Chair for Industry Juries, once again, I would like to share my highest appreciation to all juries for their full commitments and professionalism in carrying out duties to ensure all entries were evaluated fairly. Also to all juries that comes from public and also private university. Hope to see you all again in the future. Last but not least, congratulations to all winners in their own categories. Wassalam, stay safe. Thank you to Professor Herman, Professor Hyrule, and technologist Ajmain for your congratulatory messages for all participants. And thank you for contributing your time and expertise in the IIA committee. We've now come to the end of the results announcement of the MTE 2022 International Innovation Awards. A big congratulations to all winners and participants, and we wish you a successful journey in your research and innovation work. MTE 2022 will continue with the Advanced Healthcare and Life Sciences Innovation Awards and the COVID-19 International Innovation Awards from the 20th to the 24th of June, followed by the second SDG International Innovation Awards from the 17th to the 21st of October. We hope innovators who are developing innovations in this space will join us for the June and October events. As MTE will remain virtual this year, we can now have the opportunity of spacing out our awards so that participants can have more time to prepare their entries. We look forward to be your host again in June and October. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye and stay safe, everyone.